Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to Girl Upcycled Studio. This is Kelly Weiler, and we are live right now. So welcome to all of you that are here live, and welcome to all of you catching this on the replay. Let me know if it is coming in okay. I am doing a double, kind of a double screen again. So a little bit of feedback coming through on my end. I'm not real sure why. Let me see if I can see if that's better. Maybe not. Hi, Suzanne. Let's see. I'm going to try to fix the mic here. Okay. How about that? That should be, that should be better. I hope, I hope. Okay. Hello, everybody. If you're brand new, um, Girl Upcycled is in Zanesville, Ohio, which is just about one hour east of Columbus. And today I am going to do one last pumpkin painting. Totally forgot I had this guy sitting here already painted. So the base coat is already on. So we can go ahead and get started with all of the fun um, artsy fartsy parts, right? So I have an idea. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. I figured it out. It took me a minute. It took me two tries. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. That is a painting in the Creators Club. So if you missed that class, since you are a member, you can find that class in there to do. Um, I did that this past Tuesday. So if you did not do that class, get in there, girl, and get it started. I am about three quarters of the way done. I have some top level um, things that I want to do on the finishing touches. And then it'll be done and it'll be up on the website. So thank you so much. Hello, um, Amaryllis. I love your name. Can I just say? So, um... This is what we're going to do today. I started off, this is just one of those paper mache little pumpkin guys. I'm going to do some artwork on this, um, but I want to know what you would like to see on this. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So I just am wondering um, what you would like to see on this pumpkin and maybe, maybe I'll change my mind. I, I'll tell you here in a second after a couple of comments come in and Get your ideas and thank you so much for the sprinkles oh my goodness so you y'all were my favorites those of you that sprinkled the love are my favorites <laughs> um so before we get started too far we do have a special on thursday the creators club opens back up so those of you that are inboxing me know you have not missed it it hasn't opened yet it opens on thursday i just like to give little teasers out so you did not miss it. And those of you watching, I am using StreamYard, so you have to go up above where the description is, where I write the description. You're going to have to go up there. There's a link. I need you to click that link and give approval so that I'm allowed to see your name. Other than that, it'll just say Facebook user. So somebody said something black and white. That's actually kind of a cool idea. Um, I painted the leopard in abstract one. Ooh. Awesome. Stacy's back. Hello, Stacy. Hello, hello. Suzanne says flowers. I always love flowers. Do y'all get tired of seeing flowers by chance? So I started off with Old 57. This is the DIY paint line. And this is the color that I started off with. I believe it has two coats on completely dry because I did this quite a few weeks ago. And um, so it's all ready to paint, right? And I'm going to paint the stem of it last so that I have something to hang on to, okay? Um, so we have flowers. We have something in black and white. What about black and white flowers? Would that be weird? So right off the top of my head, when I was thinking of doing something today, I was thinking about something kind of like a south, kind of southwestern kind of the like esque. I did like a, I don't know if it's pronounced icat or icot. Um, I did that design one year and really liked it. So maybe maybe I'll do something like that along with some florals. I don't know. 
Suzanne never gets tired of it. <laughs> oh, nice. Are you guys cool with that? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I've got my little pan here. Um, I do like to use, let me see where it is. Here it is. I do like to use, Chris, Christine said, I was going to say something Southwest. Yes. Yeah. This never gets old. I don't know why. Um, I do like to use this um, paper here, the plastic wrap. It's a press and seal. So it has a little bit of a sticky side, little tacky side, and it's perfect to cover your little palettes that you use. Okay, so that's what I'm using. Um, a lot of times, you guys, I use um, old frames and take the pictures out and just use the glass. And that's kind of nice to use for a palette if you don't have a tray. But today we're just going to use a tray. Um, so let's see, what colors do I want? I think maybe, I'll let you guys help me. What colors would you like to see me use? I'm going to think of stuff that matches matches the turquoise, huh? Um, I'm wait I'm going to give you a second to answer. Summer crush. Woohoo. Sparks for the win. Bubble Sparks. All right. Summer crush. Except I do not see it. Where is it? Where is it, Bobby? I see fire starter. I might have to use that one. And I have my cowgirl. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me the whole time. Right there in front of me the whole time. It's, what is the saying? If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Is that that's a saying, right? Okay. I can get it open. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome because um, the opposite of the blues would be your warmer tones. So those colors always look really good together. And oftentimes, if you're curious about what colors to use together, sometimes you can go in and look at clothing. You can look at um, different outfits that you have and they always kind of match the colors up very well. So if you're a person that has trouble um, getting your colors together, um, and what you should use, that's a good little tip. Start with your your closet okay so we'll do that brown you know what i pulled this red ochre out which it has some brown warm tones to it too so maybe we'll um we'll start with that um let's see what brush should i use Let's try this one. This is from the Turquoise Iris line. It is called the, what should you call this one? The Assistant. So we're gonna start with this one, the Assistant. And let's see. getting started is always like the hardest part, right? Am I right? And I may not want to keep this brush. Let's see. I may want to use, let me try a different brush. Let's try. This one with the. This is just a little cheapy brushes that I get from. My, the Hobby Lobby where I use for me for my um, classes. But what I like about it is, well, first of all, it's not too expensive, so it's great for the classes. And it has a nice point on it. Okay, so I can just kind of go in and can even see very well. I may need to move 
this just a smidgen. Is that, is that better? Um, pretty. Thank you. All right. So anyway, gang, um, now is your time to ask about the Creators Club. Those of you that are on the fence about coming in, ask away. Ask whatever you would like. Um, this is your time. I'm trying to make sure that I go live and give you all a, a good chance to ask all the questions. You can ask what classes we do. There is no long-term contract or nothing like that. I, I really don't, you know, I'm not one of those places that likes to get a big chunk of your money up front. I like for you to come in and then I want you to fall in love with it. And I want you to learn and grow. And I want you to, I want you there because you love it and you're learning a lot. That's why I want you there. I don't want you stuck there. I don't want you to have to sign like a year contract and then be stuck and then have, you know, you know, things can come up too. Um, that has happened. I have many people that have had to leave and then they come back. And that's such a great honor when they do come back because I, that just reassures me that, you know, they really did learn from it, right? They were really getting a lot out of it if they leave and come back because they missed it. Um, but it is my, my intention is for you to get in there and just learn and love it and fall in love with all of the members because I, I know I'm a little prejudiced here, but they're the best. I have the best members. They are so helpful and so genuine and kind and helpful to each other. And um, we just we just have a great time in there. So um, ask away if there's anything that you need to know. And those of you that are members of the Creators Club, if you could say, hey, hey, I am a CC member, Creators Club member, let everybody know. And I'm sure that you could reach out to any of them if you would like to, and they would be glad to answer any questions. We just had our very first retreat together and it was awesome. I kind of want to go back. Right now, guys, if you notice, I'm just taking my brush. It's just a round brush. This is just a very inexpensive um, student grade brush. But if you see, it has a nice little tip on the end of it. So um, I'm able just to make these nice little lines and I'm just basically making lines going up and down and kind of in the zigzag kind of motion and where I have a, a little bump out on my pumpkin, that's where my high point is, right in the middle. And then I'm going to narrow down as, as it goes into the crease and then I'm going to get wider as I come up here on the whitest part of um, the pumpkin. Um, oh, we got some of the ladies here right now. And says, I am a creators. I'm see the creators club is worth the membership. Thank you. And as I learned about texture, palette knives and color that I was able to apply it to my other art and the people are terrific. Thank you. They are Anne. and Anne is actually a porcelain artist. So she is incorporating, you know, just techniques that she's learning there that we do on canvas. And she's incorporating that onto uh, her porcelain art. So even using a knife. So I found that very interesting how she was um, taking the classes and transforming it into um, her art and what she does. So thank you for that. Uh, then we have Christine. She says, I've been in the club for over a year and it's amazing. It's relaxing and encouraging. Thank you, Christine. We love having you there. And Judy says she loves the CC and it's like a sisterhood. That's exactly what it is. Absolutely. 
so we have tons of varieties of classes in there and it's just it's just an amazing time uh, but like i said we had our first meet up this this fall just like what was it has it been two weeks i don't think it's been two weeks yet has it ladies we just had it about a week and a half ago and it was so much fun so i'm going to go here and see i'm making my tallest line right there and then you can just work your way kind of out if you need to add water we will add water sheila thompson says i'm ready to join she's from oklahoma sheila i cannot wait to get you in there and get to know you and learn more about you sheila what do you like to paint the most because in the creators club i'm always asking the members like what topics they like what are they interested in is there something new that they want to learn is there something they're struggling um so i'm always just looking and searching for things to achieve with them um, things to help them um, and if I can't answer it, somebody in the group will. That's the good thing. I, I don't claim, claim to know it all, but I do my best. And we all jump in and help each other in there, too, which is kind of what it's all about, right? Um, Stacy's here. She says, I've been a CC member for over a year, and I don't participate a lot, meaning I don't post my work. But I've learned so much. Kelly is the best teacher. Stacy, thank you. And I have had the pleasure to meet Stacy uh, a few times now. Um, she is in Columbus, so that's about an hour away. And so she's been able to travel here and I've met her. And she actually went to the South Charleston retreat that I taught at. And she actually won one of the paintings that I created. It was a rather large one. So I was like, you're not obligated to take that if you don't want to. And she was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> So um, I was so pleased and honored that she wanted that. So we're just going along and we're making little strokes. Real simple. This is so cool on furniture too, gang. Um, what I'm doing right now, I did on a large uh, armoire. So I don't know if those of you, um, if you watch the Southwestern armoire that I painted, this is very similar to how I did the design. Um, and it turned out pretty darn cool. I was really excited. Um, Sheila says intuitive canvas art is my jam. That's awesome. That's my jam too, girly. Um, I also repurposed cigar boxes. Sheila, no kidding. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. So what do you do? Do you make them like, do you turn them into purses or like, what do you do with the cigar boxes? I think that's so cool. I want to see them. Do you have a page? I'd love to go see your stuff. Um, that's something else that we do. We always try to support each other's pages in there. And today we did a little bit of business talk inside the creators club we go live in there every tuesday at six and today was q a day and we had quite a few questions pertaining to business websites um websites versus shopify um shipping we talked about shipping um goodness what else just all the things i'm sure i'm forgetting something um our last Q&A that we had, we talked about um, setting up and doing live sales, um, like at festivals and places like that. So we do offer a lot of information. And like I said, the members in there um, can offer a lot too, because a lot of the members are actually, you know, artists that are selling their work. So, you know, and that's what makes me so proud, too. I have people that have come into the group and um, not really knowing what they want to do as far as art goes, but then they end up selling their art. And the sales from their artwork 
pays for the membership, pays for all of their art supplies. And I mean, what more could you ask? And then as they get even more popular, they start making money at their art. So that's pretty amazing. So I love it when that happens. And we, we are cheerleaders of each other in there. And so we cheer each other on and it's truly, truly refreshing to be in a group and around ladies that are actually happy for you when good things happen, you know, and they show up and support you and all that good stuff. So, so we're just going around, going around here. Um, Sheila says I decoupage them. Then I paint or stencil the sides and also paint the insides. Thank you for asking my pain. My page is called Whimsy Hippie by Sheila. Oh my goodness, I love that name because you know I'm just kind of a little bit of a hippie at heart. If you didn't know, those of you that are just meeting me, I have a hippie heart. It's a happy hippie heart. <laughs> I like colors. What can I say? You know? But anyway, we have a ton of classes in the vault, as I like to say. Um, it's um, it's everything is for right now everything is right inside Facebook so um, the last opening that I had I actually had um, a girl join and she didn't realize that it was on Facebook and she did not have a Facebook page and so I was like I was gonna give her money back and I was like oh I totally understand sometimes I can understand not wanting to be out on social and you know I, I get that but she was like you know what no I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and she has thrived she has thrived she has done so good and um, yeah she's got a Facebook page now but what we do is it's on Facebook and once you get into the you get enrolled um, you will get a link and the link will send you to the group so and you'll have to answer a few questions and then we let you right into the group. Okay. All right. It's pretty easy. Sometimes it, you know, it might take us a minute to find you. There are occasions where um, the person signs up under a different name than maybe what their, um, then maybe what their name is on Facebook. So it might take us a minute to find you, but we always find you and get you in there and all that good stuff. So but I'm really excited. It's my favorite thing is to teach and be inside that group around these amazing women. Um, ladies, where do you think our next retreat should be? Do we want to keep it here in Ohio or what should we do? up for ideas you know it's not too soon to be thinking about that kind of thing <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is just kind of a little quick demo craft that I do on my public channel here um, in my private group it's all like pretty like art related start to finish like I said the picture back behind the floral was one that I taught on Tuesday. Um, and so it's it's a complete composition that we paint start to finish, not always within the class. The class, is usually, the class usually runs about an hour and a half. So a lot of times I'm getting the composition and I'm getting everybody set up. And I have pretty distinct ways um, to get you set up with the composition. And then I just kind of gently push you along and then um, after the hour and a half's up you're on your own and then we kind of pop back in and share each other's work like how far we've gone and where we're at if anybody's having problems they will you know they'll maybe say hey Kelly I you know I don't know what's wrong with the color right here I can't get it quite right something's off some you know what does it need you know so um 
sometimes people are not sure if they're done, you know? So that happens. So we had that happen today. Um, Deanne, one of the members shared a piece she's working on and actually it was very beautiful, but she just wanted some ideas of another step or so that she could do. So I gave her a couple of ideas and she was like, oh yeah, I love that, you know? And other people were chiming in and so, but it actually looked pretty darn good where it was at. So, but uh, all I'm doing right now is just a little quick demo on the, usually on my public channel here, um, I do more like things that, like maybe I'll do demos of products that I sell. So this is the DIY paint. So I'm showing you those colors and sometimes I'll talk about the DIY products or whatever else I might be using. So that's kind of what the difference is you know, a lot of people are like, well, if I, what's the difference? I watch you on your public page. What's the difference? We go a lot deeper inside the Creators Club. It gets, it gets, it's more personal in there, too. So this is where we're at. And so I'm ready to start adding another color. Um, I might be adding maybe a lighter color next. What do y'all think? Maybe white to kind of frame it out a little bit. Um, let's see. If you happen to be watching this and I am not able to see your name, all you have to do is go to the description and and allow it so that I can see your name. StreamYard needs to have approval. Sheila says, is it open this Thursday? Yes, ma'am, Sheila. Thursday it opens. So sometime Thursday morning. Um, my VA will um, have the doors open and you should, you know, be able to get in then. It's only <clears throat> open for a few days. Okay. Judy says the wild. Do you want to go back to the wilds? You think we should keep it right here in Ohio? Christine says everybody's so supportive and encouraging. Thank you. Ian says, I'm a great cheerleader. We're all great cheerleaders in there, though, aren't we? But they, excuse me, thank you for that. Um, Alyssa says, if you're on the fence, give it a try. Yeah. Yes, white. Bobby says white. I have Bobby's approval on white, so we're going to go with white. <laughs> I have Bobby's approval. White it is. Yes, I am using a little bit of gesso for my white. Just because it was the closest thing to grab, actually. Judy says she wants to stay at the lodge at the wilds the next time. That is a very good possibility that we do something like that, Miss Judy. Very good possibility. Oh my goodness, you guys, they have it's they have it's an amazing, amazing place if you've never been. Um, I, I just love it there. Um, so a little story, quick story for you. Um, today's actually my, my anniversary, my husband and I, it's our 25th anniversary. And when we were dating, we used to go out to where the wilds is and it wasn't the wilds then it was just like the strip mine area. And we used to ride our mountain bikes out there all the time. And so it's a very special place. So when the wilds came, or we didn't know it was the wilds, but we, people were moving in and things were happening. And we were like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Then we found out something, you know, uh, this reserve was coming. Um, science center reserve for animals. And we were like, oh my goodness, they're, I hope they, you know, we just kept thinking, oh, all these restaurants are going to go in and all these um, hotels and, but it didn't, they kept it very authentic and true and all the stuff. So, um, we still just, we enjoy going out there. Now I've got to add some water to my brush because I'm using something a little different here. I'm using the gesso and it's kind of a little bit stickier than the paint that I was just using. And so now I'm going to take my brush 
with the white and I'm going to just kind of follow those lines that I just made. If y'all can see. And we're going to make this, I may have to change because it's not covering very well, is it? So if you see, let me put it down. I don't know if you can see that very well, guys. It's kind of the, the, the light is causing it to kind of mush together. I think what I need to do is change over and use, if I have some white, that is the DIY brand. Let me see. Let's see if I do one second here. Thank you. 25 years, can you believe it? It feels like it's been longer because, <laughs> that sounds bad saying that, but not because of any reason other than we were together for eight years, so about seven or eight years before we were married. So um, yeah, so it kind of seems like we've actually been married longer because we've actually been together longer. Um, Bobby says the wilds would be great. We did, we had a great time there. Um, okay, let me see if, I am looking for a duck down over here. Um, it's not showing up very well, guys. And I cannot find my DIY thing. I don't think. I don't think the cake batter would show up enough, so I don't want to use that. Let me see. Um, okay, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to change gears. So I'm going to go darker. Since I can't go lighter, I'm going to go darker. <laughs> Pam Dudley in the house. Hello, Miss Pam. How are you? So let's go darker if that works a little bit better. That's a good thing about painting. You can just change, you know, change your mind, right? <laughs> All right. So back into it here. I'm going to use blue iris. This will show up for sure. I'm about positive that it will. Ooh, pretty. So basically, if you get something with enough contrast, it will show up. And I thought white would be enough, but this kind of wasn't. And again, I'm going to start making these strokes all the way around. Really quick strokes. And again, if you missed it, I did this on a piece of furniture. It was gorgeous. Um, I hated to see it go secretly. I mean, it's like you, you love it when things sell and you're happy. <laughs> you're like, yay. And then you're like, oh, I really like that piece. So I have some new furniture pieces coming up, coming along that I will be working on. So be watching for that. I'm trying to get my, some of my videos up on my YouTube. I have a new art video coming up on YouTube. So I have my, my newest, if I can get it to work properly to edit it, I have, um, a video coming up on YouTube soon that will be um, the making of the turquoise iris journal um, painting that I did that was just featured in the journal. Um, so I will be doing editing that down so that you guys can watch the whole um, start to finish of that. I taped the whole thing so it's turned out really cool. It's an intuitive piece and it is did turn out to be a floral and a little bit of an abstract but it's really beautiful it's pretty large scale thank you for the happy anniversary appreciate that and you know we're just working on our anniversary we're adulting like every other day it's kind of the way it goes 
we'll probably go out this weekend or something. They usually have a big costume party um, at the brewery down the hallway, and so a lot of times we go to that. So we'll we'll kind of just we'll do something this weekend. He made me breakfast this morning and coffee, so we had our morning together. So that was nice. So I'm kind of doing this on both the top and the bottom. I'm just kind of following those lines. Super easy to do though. Anybody else have any, any comments about the day or any questions about anything? What color is that? I was messing with my pup. This is Blue Iris. I will forgive you for messing with the pup. What kind of pup is it? Love pup. Love puppies. Is it a little puppy? It's a new one? So what's on the agenda for everybody for this week? So we have, let's see, today is Tuesday. I'll be live tomorrow again painting. What do y'all think I should paint tomorrow? What do you want to see? Anything special? Those of you that are watching. Bowl master boxer. Oh my goodness, Bobby. She's that sounds like a wonderful mix. I would love I love boxers anyway. I had a boxer mix. Love. Love, love, love. They're so sweet. Um Hey Miss Deanne. How are you, my friend? Deanne's in the group, aren't you? In the club? We are just trying to get everybody up to speed on what they can expect inside the group. You guys, when you come in, there are hundreds of classes in there for you to do. Um, so you, you can get right in and do the replays. You don't have to be there for the live. Um, we have people from all over the world in there. So, um, there are some people we have one. No, we, I think we have two actually that are in Australia. So when they tune in, when we're live, it's actually morning for them. So they're not always able to, you know, do the lives at the same time. So, and that's okay. Cause the way it's set up is that you can, you can do those classes whenever it's convenient for you. It is nice to be there during the live. Sometimes, um, the one gal will tune in while she's drinking coffee in the morning and that way she can, you know, still hear and ask questions if she wants to and say hello to everybody. Cause we do have, it is, it is, it's a tribe, right? Judy says, I'm the godmother. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> um, oh, you're the, you're the puppy's godmother. I thought you were saying in the group. Like, okay, Judy, you're the, you're the godmother. <laughs> oh, shoot. Cracking myself up over here. I haven't met your pup yet, Bobby. I'm, I'm kind of liking that it, that I had to change colors because I'm liking the contrast of that, the dark blue with the orange tone. Deanne says part of the tribe when you're in there. It's true. It's very true. Great place to make friends that are interested in the same thing you are, which is art. We're all a little, we're all a little crazy about art, aren't we? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's like I tell my husband, there's, there's worse things I could be addicted to, right? So you're going to keep going around. So I'm getting close. Oh, I'm getting halfway, I guess. Guess it does take a while. So, what other color should I use, gang? What do you think? 
or should I work some florals in? I don't know. I usually work a little bit of metallics in on these as well when I do it. Deanne says, I have learned a ton. Pam says, feathers. Woo! I love feathers. You know I do. Kissing booth. Love kissing booth. Judy says use kissing booth, and that would be like a little bit of a fuchsia color. Maybe I do. Let's see, can't use yellow around the blue. <laughs> That's right, we'll have green, won't we? a little bit chilly in here today. I actually have just the heat on for a second. So tomorrow I'll go live again about the same time. And I'll be painting something. I haven't decided what yet, but I'll be painting something. Hanging out with y'all. And let's see, on Thursday the doors open for the Creators Club. And then I'll be live Thursday. We'll have a live sale. Um, that's at 7. And I'll pretty much be, probably be live every day this week. Answering questions and all that good stuff. So if I was to put some florals on here, where should I do it? This one actually going on pretty quick. Pretty quick. I think I could go, I could do like a little white something inside. Maybe the orange tone. Let's try it. Let's see if that will work. Can't use it. Oh, I know why you're saying that, Bobby. She's a, okay. Totally over my head there. It took me long enough to figure that out, didn't it? She's a big, Bobby loves Michigan, don't you, Bobby? So here's what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm, maybe florals or feathers at the top part of the blue. Yeah, like maybe up here kind of hanging down like a little arch. That's what I was thinking. So I'm just going... And I'm dipping into the white, and then I'm just going to make a quick little, a little, and it doesn't have to be, see how I'm moving my brush? It doesn't have to be perfect. We're kind of going in the shape of like a, a triangle, but I'm kind of bouncing my brush around. Is it that kind of that more loose organic kind of feel? Oh no, Kelly Love and what? Dan, I'm not sure. Aren't in my vocabulary. Steerhead. She must not have heard that. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh, I know. It's y'all's ornery. So I'm, I did a line, and then I turned my brush, and now I'm going to just tap it up and down. And I'm going to turn my brush because I have more paint on the one side. So I turn my brush, and I'm going to tap it up and down. These are little tricks that you'll kind of learn after you, you know, start painting, and you're painting for a while, right? 
So again, I'm going to show you, you do your line, just tap it down. Now I'm going to turn my brush and tap it this way. So we're following that like a diamond kind of a shape. And then that white really pops against the, the orange tone, right? And this might be my favorite one yet. <laughs> I painted several pumpkins this season. A lot of, did some abstract florals and I did one that was kind of more intuitive, which was really kind of funky, but it was fun. Really like that one too. I'm gonna turn my brush cause I have more paint on that side and I'm just gonna tap. And it's very loose, but you kind of get the idea. Love the pumpkin, says Judy. Thank you. The dual camera angles are great. Awesome. I'm finally figuring it out. Finally, huh? The only bad thing is sometimes I can't see people's, you know, name if they don't approve for me to see their name. It's the only bad thing, but I'm not complaining. Okay, so maybe let's do... Um, see which area is the driest might be like right here let's do like some florals kind of just kind of oozing down and then that's where we will put in the fuchsia which is kissing booth um, which was requested by Judy I always have to do what I'm told you know oops I think I got way too much on my plate um, the one thing, you guys, the DIY paint so highly pigmented. Many of the members in my group get the small 8-ounce um, size and use for their artwork. Um, we don't only use this. I use a lot of acrylics, too. But a lot of them use this because it, it goes a long way. And it is very, very highly pigmented. So, and it's very safe to use. So... A lot of the ladies do use that. All right, let's see. What do I want to use for a brush? Do, 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 do. Let's see. Sorry, I want to get my head in the way here. Let's see. Some of my brushes are out of shape. I've got a long, this is a number 10 master's touch. It's probably a little bit too long for this, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try here. I'm going to, see I'm just tapping in into there and let's just start. Some flowers here. Let's put one down here. Kind of just looks like a blob at first guys. Okay it down a little bit. I'm not going to get mad if it drips. Let's do, let's do another one. All right, and that's all that is. Let's, I'm just gonna tap in since I already have white on my, on my plate here. I'm just gonna go ahead and work in a little bit of the pink and the white together and then we will build this kind of flower. Build it up a little bit, okay? So that's what it's looking like. 
Um, and I think for the other side, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of coral on my plate. Looks so good. Thanks, Pam. You are always so nice to me. Would you even tell me if it looked bad? <laughs> they are the perfect size. Hi, Karen. Oh my goodness, my friend Karen. I miss you. How are you? Good to see you. So do y'all remember Karen? She's, I went live with her so much. Um, was it in the summer? spring summer when we were going live all the time oh my gosh we had so much fun we need to do that again sometime soon i'm just on here opening up my group again girl she's been in my group before she did beautiful beautiful work didn't you so i'm just going back and forth And the fact that I used coral versus just the pink and white is giving the variation of, you know, different, that it's a different flower, right? Everybody's saying hi. I miss you too. My goodness. I'm still, I am going to come see you sometime. Maybe we should like do a workshop or something there in Florida. Anybody feel like a Florida trip? All right, so there's that. So I think I'm gonna work a little bit of green in the leaves so let's use a little I think it's fancy farm girl yes I'll come to that says so yeah because Christine you're in Florida aren't you Bobby says I'm down for Florida you know I'm taking notes y'all you know I'm taking notes y'all you gotta come if we go we go to Florida for a workshop <laughs> Um, Kelly, I am now a record store. What? I have no time for anything but records. So I started doing more. So I, so I started doing more furniture. Wait, so, wait, so you started doing more furniture or you started doing less furniture? I'm confused. I'm confused, girl. I didn't know that you were... I did not know that you were, um, that's all you were doing was records now. What the heck? Dan's never been to Florida. Well, we need to, maybe we just need to have a girls trip in the spring. We'll go buy some records at Karen's. Now is the time to come. It's getting cold. Okay. I'm gonna go get my bags packed. You hang, you just hang on there, girl. You just hang on there. Don't even tease me. Okay, this is a little tricky right here because I'm going down into this groove, but you just don't get, don't overthink it. Let's just push that brush down in there and I'm gonna get into some of the, the white paint just, just because it's there. I'm just, touching in and changing some of that green color, putting some highlights in. Oh, we can go to Leoma's. You guys, that would be a good field trip for us, wouldn't it? Leoma's? How far is Leom Leoma Love Grove from you, Karen? So I'm putting some Have you heard of Leoma? She probably has. What, what, isn't she on an island or what, where's she at? I forget. That would be way fun, wouldn't it? On the East Coast. 
Fort Lauderdale. What I meant is the records are paying my bills, so I'm riding that wave. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Christine's in West Palm, so it's about three hours. Girl, you gotta go see Karen. You gotta go see her, because she's awesome. She's good people. Right? Let's do another little one right here. So I'm just applying that as soon as it, as soon as, as soon as that leaf is applied, I'm dabbing in with a little bit of white just to put some highlight and interest. Don't overthink you guys. A lot of times people are like, I cannot do flowers. It's like, just don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Right. Now, easier said than done, huh? I'm going to go down here and add some green down here. I think this is going to be a pretty interesting pumpkin. Very different than any of the other ones I've made so far this year anyway. Christine is so close. Leoma's is three hours. Oh, and Karen's only 45 minutes. Girl, you got to go see our girl Karen. Got to. Right? So I'm just putting that in there. Boom, boom. Um, you guys, I am up for suggestions, too, on how I can make these camera angles a little bit better. Hi, Miss Leslie. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. So hopefully you're able to see this okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that's pretty good. Let's throw a feather in there and call it a day. Want to? If I can, we'll see get kind of late. You guys notice I'm drinking a little bit of iced tea right now. It's late for me. It's eight o'clock. I'm drinking iced tea. I'm trying to stay awake to see my hubs tonight as he gets off work late. So it is our anniversary so we can at least see each other for a little bit, maybe for a nightcap. A little glass of wine or something might be nice okay I'm gonna dip into this I need to water it down just a little bit a little bit more I'm going into that white I don't know how it's gonna go because I'm using the gesso so we'll see let's see if we could put a feather Very, very lightly. Flowers are looking good. Awesome. Happy anniversary to you and Wyler. I know it's 25 years. Can you believe it? I can't. Like this morning, I was like, babe, has it been 25 years? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. I can't even believe that. We dated for so long before, so it's kind of. So I'm, you guys probably can't see this too well. So let me try to change the angle. It, it's very tricky. Those of you that do live videos, it's very tricky, isn't it? Trying to paint so that other people can see. So the way I'm doing this, I put my, my line in there which is the vein of the feather. I'm not sure what else I would call it except for a vein. And now I'm just going to take my brush strokes and I'll go to the middle of that vein and I just stroke, feather stroke out, okay? Did you guys get married when you were 13? <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm up there in age, girl, believe me. 
I am, let's see, I had to stop and think. That's how I turned 53 in August, but, um, and we actually got married a little bit later. So we got married in 96, but we were together for about seven or eight years. I said eight. He says seven. I think it's because we had a breakup there in the middle. We broke up for a, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Karen, you can do flowers too. You're, are you doing any artwork, Karen? Because you are really doing so good. Are you doing any more artwork on, um, on your records? Like that could be something we could do. We could do a workshop on records at Karen's. Like records that you can't sell. Make some really cool artwork on them? How would that do for a workshop? I'll come and teach it. I don't know. Can you see the feather? Bobby says yes! Yes! I feel like there needs to be at least one more feather. Maybe coming down right this way. Let's see. Should go. Should go that way. Let's just see where it takes me. There's this, the vein, put your main vein in there. And now we're gonna always go back to that center. Karen says, I'm doing mostly furniture lately. OMG, I have tons of records for a workshop. See, we could, and you know, there are the girls, the girl gang, um, we could team up or something. I don't know, seriously would love to do something with y'all. It'd be fun. You have a whole gang of ladies coming out for the, for at least a long weekend, right? The heck? Here comes my train. Well, Karen, we should do a reunion live here pretty soon, if nothing else. Because I miss my girl. Seriously. Let's discuss. I think it would be so. Let's do. Yeah, let's um, talk about getting something on schedule. Like maybe a spring, a spring art workshop. Would it be nice there in the spring? Like nice, but not too hot. What do you think? Like when it's really crummy here. <laughs> I'm going to be down for that, for sure. So I'm just building that feather out. I hope you all can see. And if I can get this camera thing figured out, I do have a really smart young man that is willing to help me with some of my cameras. And he's going to try to get me set up a little bit better here. So, so you all be able to... Um, see a little bit better while I'm painting and my lighting I think we'll get my lighting figured out but hopefully you can see I think that's pretty cool so um I don't know I'm sure knowing me I'm probably going to add like a little sparkle of metallic somewhere somewhere so, somehow um the angle over your shoulder is good okay good that's awesome. Thank you. Um, Karen says, oh, I heard you had a reunion and Alyssa went. She did. I love her. I love that girl. That girl is just, she's gold. She is just gold. Yes. February, March is the best weather. So let's, let's talk offline about that and get something on the schedule. I would, that would be awesome. And we'll, figure out um, how that's all going to go down. I know the girls in my creators club, they're saying that they wish that there was another re, um, retreat. And I said, well, we'll be doing some. I'm not sure where. Oh, she's moving near you. Oh, lucky girl. 
event for another good reason to come. Um, so guys, the only other thing I would do now, well, that's dried up, so I can't use that one, is I would take a little bit of some kind of a soft gray, like the prairie gray would be perfect, and I don't see any in front of me. And I would, and I am going to do this, I would put some shadows in that feather a little bit, just to detail it out a little bit. So um, that's probably the last thing I would do, add a little bit of metallic and it'll be good to go. Is that a real pumpkin? This is just a paper mache, one of those paper mache ones. And then um, I usually paint the little, what's that called? Stump, <laughs> what's it called guys? The little top of it, what's it called? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I, I guess I need more, more tea, but I'll paint that a metallic, maybe like um, copper or gold. So. Oh, look, it lasts forever that way. That's right. All right, are there any stem? Thank you, D. <laughs> I need more caffeine, stock, stem, yes. Anything but stump, huh? All right, are there any other questions? So um, just a quick little wrap up here. Thursday is opening day for the Creators Club. So if you're waiting to get in, Thursday's your day. I do have a free class on my website at girlupcyclestudio.com. Um, there's a little freebie you can sign up for. Um, just a little quick, little fun, intuitive class. So go sign up for that if you're not sure. Um, and that'll kind of give you a good little example of what just one of my classes would be like. All right. Um, and other than that, um, I'll be live. I'll be back on here tomorrow painting again with all of you. Okay. So um, I will see you guys then. If you have more questions, inbox me. I'm happy to help you. Any of the members would be happy to help you as well. So, all right. Thanks so much for hanging out. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed um, our little project. This is the finished project here. So I think it turned out kind of fun. And like I said, I am going to add shadows into the feather. So it will be, it'll pop just a little bit more. So I'll have this up on the website too, or it might be in the sale on Thursday, the live sale. All right. See you guys then. Thank you so much again for hanging out. All right. Talk to you soon.